Hey guys, welcome to Superbox Official. Today I'm gonna introduce you the Superbox F3 Pro Voice Control Remote. I will show you how to program your Superbox remote and how to pair it to your TV box and how it works. Let's take a look at the remote. It's quite different from the S2 Pro's remote. On the front of the remote, we can see there's a voice button in the middle. That's the biggest change compared to the S2 Pro's remote. And this is the key, that this remote supports S3 Pro's built-in voice control system. On the back, it takes a curved design, engraved pairing guide, and programming guide. It's very shallow, which is great, that looks much better. Okay, the first one is how to program the remote and also called learning function. That means you can use the Superbox remote to learn a few TV remote buttons function. Then when you use the Superbox to watch TV, you don't need to use TV remote to control a TV, Superbox remote to control the box. All you need is one Superbox remote to control both of your TV and the Superbox. You can see there are four buttons was outlined with white. These four buttons was made for the programming. In the first, hold the small power button in the area until the flashlight keeps on. That means it went to the programming statue. Then press the power button again. You will see the flash start blinking. Next, aim your TV remote at the Superbox remote. Press the TV power button. When the Superbox remote light stop blinking, the power button was being programmed. Next, the same operation for volume up and down buttons. And another one you want to be programmed. After finish the programming process, press any button outside the programming area to access to a programming statue. Now you can use the Superbox remote to turn on off your TV and adjust the volume. The next one is how to pair your Superbox remote to the box. This remote supports both infrared and Bluetooth. When you're not connected to the box, it can work when you aim it uh, to the box because it's an infrared remote. But only if you pair the remote to the box with Bluetooth, the voice control function can be activated. Now let's get started. In the first, we turn on the box, then press the voice button on the remote. It will go to the parent page. Then we hold the OK and the return button together for like 8 seconds until the red light flash. Next, press the OK button. The red light will flash quicker than stop. The parent page will also show you connected. That means the parent process will succeed. You can go back to the home screen. Click Settings, the Remote and Accessories. You can see that the RC100 was connected. This RC100 is the remote's name. Now we go back to the home screen and press the voice button. You can see the voice function was being activated. 